channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys this dress how to make uh, an a-line dress with a peter pan color so what you're going to do is to cut out this is for a little girl so you're going to cut out your fabric i already have my fabric folded into two my front and my back panel all of them are the same the same uh, length and the same weight so basically you're going to use round their hip measurement or the widest part of their body divided by four plus um plus like extra four inches because this is going to be a line so you want it angled so that's what i have here so the width i'm using here is almost 10 inches of weight so um the next thing you're going to do is to go ahead and start putting in your measurement and then you're going to check the shoulder to the length you want plus extra 1.5 so what I'm working with here is about 22.5. So you come up to their shoulder and then you fix in the shoulder measurement. The shoulder I'm working with is 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then you go this way and then you put the armhole measurement. The armhole I'm working with is 13 divided by 2 is 6.5. So you mark that here and then you connect it in a straight line all the way to the top. You mark um, um, 0.5. You come down by 0.5 here. Put in the neckline so i'm going to use about 2.2 for the neckline and then 2.2 by 2.2 2.2 is what i'm going to use here so i'm going to mark that here give it my neckline call and then connect the shoulder slope the shoulder slope here and then put in my armhole so now the call for my armhole so now what you're going to do is to check the chest measurement around the bust and then you're going to divide it by four so what i'm working with is about 24 and then divided by four is going to be six right but i'm going to add extra about 1.5 inches to it one inch of seam allowance and half an inch of ease because i want the dress a little bit free so i'm going to mark that somewhere here so somewhere here or you can use two inches one inch of ease and one inch of seam allowance so what i have is almost one inch of ease and one inch of seam allowance because my bust divided by four is going to be six i added one inch of seam allowance and one inch of ease and then from this point now you're going to connect it to the edge of the dress because remember like i said this is going to be a line so so depending on how wide you want your a line to be you can go wider let's say your fabric extends to this point you can go and shift it all the way up to this so you know your a line will go all the way it will be this wide but my fabric is not that wide so it's just going to be a small a line and then after connecting it this way the next thing you're going to do is to come up here by about one inch from the end of the dress so you're going to come up here by one inch and then mark it and then you're going to blend this in so you see you're going to blend it into this line so this is just the normal way of cutting a line so i'm going to cut all this out now so guys the next thing i'm going to do is to bring down the back neckline so before i cut out my front neckline i'm also going to bring down my back neckline by about one inch and then mark that here so i'm going to cut out my back neckline first and then separate it and then cut my front neckline so guys this is my neckline for the front this is the neckline for the back but at the back i came down by almost uh about five inches for the back because i'm going to put in this is for the neckline to be able to pass through your head so you need to come down a little bit more and open it up so this here is about five inches depth or almost six inches uh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use um facing to finish this off so guys what you're going to do you are going to cut out something like this and then you're going to place this fabric on it this is your facing you're going to go ahead and sew half an inch all the way around come back here go up again half an inch all the way so guys what i'm going to do now is uh, you see i've made my stitch this is down here so i'm going to go ahead and, and cut it open so if i cut it open what i cut open is the one behind because remember the one in front the main body of the cloth is already cut open so the one i'm cutting is the one underneath which is the face in itself so after that you're going to go ahead and flip this inside out this way so now you've it has given you the finishing that you need for the edges of your cloth and then you're going to go ahead and top stitch it and iron it 
so guys you see my facing is done if i flip it inside you see where i turned it around so you just have to iron it but before that i'm going to go ahead and join my shoulders together this show the shoulder from the back to the shoulder in front so place it this way join here and also join here see this is what i did here so i just folded the cloth into two so this is the cloth here i just folded it here this way so i can just get the neckline you see the two shoulders are here so I folded it this way and then I have my fabric below. I'm going to go ahead and trace out this neckline. So I'm going to trace out this circle on my fabric right now. So guys, this is it here. I've traced it out, the neck, round the neck. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape now and then, then I'm going to measure two, two inches all the way around. So I'm just going to take it here and measure out two inches distance from this circle down. So I'm going to keep measuring it all the way. So guys, now that I've done this, I'm going to add half an inch at this at each end on this part here. And then, but on this end, I'm going to just give it a curve. So this end is supposed to end like this, but I'm just going to go ahead and just curve it at this part here. I'm going to make a separate video on how to do this here, on how to make a Peter Pan color. But at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. Guys, don't forget to add about half an inch of seam allowance right at the end. I'm going to add half an inch of seam allowance right around. So guys, I've cut this out. I'm going to trace it again because there's two of them here. I'm also going to trace another two of it using this color. If you want, you can just do one, one color all the way. But I'm going to do, um, I'm going to have this underneath and then this one on top. So I'm going to trace it out again. So guys, as you can see, I have four pieces of this here, two of each of them. If you want, you can use one color for that. I'm just using this. This is having just almost like a lining at the, at the bottom of it. So I'm going to take this, place this this way, place this this way, and then I'm going to sew it round. Not, not at the center, but outside of it. I'm going to sew it all the way around and flip it out. So you're going to start from this end, close it up, come back here all the way, close it up. The only part you will not close up is this in, in the center. This is where you will not close up. So guys, as you can see, I've clipped out one. So all I have to do is to just notch, notch, notch all the ends. And then I'm going to turn this one inside out. Just open it from the center here. And then you flip it inside out this way. And then you go ahead and iron it. So guys, this is it here. But this is the side I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the black. This is just going to be underneath it. I'm not going to be using... This is the visible part for me. So if you want, you can just use one color, both at beneath and on top. So what I'm going to do is now to place this here and take it, place it. So I'm going to find the center of my neckline and I'm going to notch it. So this is the center of my neckline here. I'm going to go ahead and notch it. And then I'm going to take this here, place it this way, right from the center here. And then I'm going to sew it all the way to the back. I'm going to take this one here also. I'm going to sew it all the way to the back. And make sure you place it the way you would normally place it. So if you know this is the right side you want to be visible on your neckline, leave it on top. So this is where, this is the front of my cloth, the, the right side of my cloth. This is the right side of my uh, Peter Pan collar. So I'm just going to sew this down. So guys, you see the neckline, if I flip it, you see what it looks like. You can use the same color, like I said, for this, this side. So what I'm going to use now is to use bias to run this neckline now. So guys, this is the bias I'm using, which is just a piece of this fabric, about one inch of width. I'm going to take it and just start from the end here and run it through using this same seam that I have here, run it through all the way to the back. So guys, now that you've joined the bias all the way around, what you're going to do is to just notch it, notch it, notch it. And then you're going to take it, just pay attention at this point. You take it, after notching it now, what is left, you reduce it enough to fit. And then you're supposed to have like half an inch at this top part to use to fold this end. And then you fold the bias in this way. And then flip it to the back. So this is where you're going to join it. Underneath, your stitch will be underneath this cape, not here. So you see what, let me show you again. So this is what it looks like right now. This is it here. You're going to go ahead, fold it once, flipping the top part here, bend it, and then sew it at the back all the way to the other end. So guys, this is done. Now we'll go over to the sleeve. 
so guys for this sleeve all you have to do is to just measure the, the remaining um, hole so you're going to place it this way and measure so what I have is seven make sure that your width here is seven and then you're going to come down by about two inches or like 2.5 inches I'm going to use 2.5 here and then mark that straight across and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your tape this way from this point and this point and then you're going to mark a straight line across so for me and then you're going to check what you have so for me that's eight half of eight is four so you're going to find the half distance between these two points and then you're going to curve the one below and then give the one above a curve this way and then after that you're going to check the length you want your sleeve to be so i'm going to be using um about 12 inches for this sleeve so i'm going to go ahead and cut it that's including my seam allowance so guys you're going to just cut that out and then measure the width of their arm where the sleeve is going to end add one divided by two and add one so that's what i have here so i'm going to go ahead and add the band at the end so guys as you can see i've done one sleeve so basically after cutting your sleeve all you have to do is take cut out um a black or whatever color you want to, you're using for the neckline about three inches of weight what you're going to do is you take it and you're going to join it at the wrong side right take it and you're going to join it on the wrong side of this fabric so that's what i'm going to do so now that is on the wrong side what you're going to do is take it flip it flip it over to the right side and then what you're going to do is tuck it in this way and sew it down so you're going to tuck it in this way and make a stitch on top of it so that's how you're going to get this look so guys now that i've joined it the next step is to fix it into the sleeve and close up the armhole close up the side and fold the end of the clothes so guys this is the dress all i have to do is this thing that i have here that i made i guess uh i'm going to use it attach it on one side of the back right underneath the collar here just put it at one side of the back and then put button on the other side and that will be it so thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye